first get Tom or X. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Shut your goddamn mouth. I'm trying to listen to Tom Likas. Bitch. And now, and now, here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I'm so excited about this hour of the program because uh, my little uh, tirade about the woman who came and peed at my front door, stole my poinsettia plants, is about to go to a whole new level. Thanks to our friend at, um, I'd love to tell you what television show he works on. He works on a big one. And he works here at the movie studio we can't name. Can I use his first name at least, Dean? Would he mind? Scott? All right. Um, I don't want to get Scott in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble for saying the name of the place where he works. Because we're here at this movie studio. They won't allow us to say the name of the studio where we work. But... He came down here. He has every kind of technical gadgetry you can possibly imagine. And he took my surveillance video. And he took it apart six ways from Sunday. And our producer, Gary Zabransky, got on the phone with the company that made the proprietary software that is contained in my server at home and was able to extract these videos. And uh, Gary did a little editing, little creative soundtracking, and he has now posted the video of the chick. You can see her. If you go to our website, blowmeuptom.com, if you go to the radio station website, 971freefm.com, my God, it's right on the front page of the Free FM website. If you go to 971freefm.com, it's right on the front page. If you go to blowmeuptom.com, it's right on the front page. If you go to YouTube and look up like us and urinates or urination, <laughs> there it is. You can find it every which way. Before I ever announced it today, we were already up to 856 hits on this video, and I hadn't announced it on my own show. Now you can see the video. Now you can see what I'm talking about. Now you can see I don't make this stuff up. And I don't. You can see everything. The chick pulling up, getting out of the car. Take a good close look. Zoom in on her face if you choose to. Do you know who this might be? Now, if you're driving around in your car, it's probably driving you crazy. You would love to be watching this video right now. But I encourage you to go to blowmeuptom.com, 971freefm.com, or YouTube, and take a look at the video. By the way, already in the early going, five stars. It's already been favorited three times. There's already comments on there. And that was before we ever mentioned it on the air. But if you take a look, you can see... By the way, many of you think I make these stories up. Even people in the radio business... Say, hey, that was a good show you did. That was a good story you told. Like, I make this stuff up. Well, you could make this up. You could see this chick. And as you know, I'm offering a $1,000 reward to anybody who now take a look at the video. Now, if if you heard me mention this on the air, but you said, hey, I, no one mentioned to me that they went to your house and they peed in the front door. Now, take a look at the video. Maybe you know this person. My goal today is to make this the most viewed video on YouTube, or at least one of the top five. You can see everything. You see the whole thing. See her pulling her skirt down. See her crouching in front of my front door. 
If you uh, look on the right side, I've got some tile at the entranceway to my home. And you can see uh, the liquid uh, rolling its way through the grout in the tile. You can That's how you know what she's doing. You can also see her bare ass as she gets up and pulls her skirt up. So don't take my word for it. The video evidence is now online. It's there to be seen. Maybe you've already seen the video. Maybe you would like to go see the video and then call in and comment on it. Uh, I would like to get your comments about this. And again... It could be worth a thousand bucks to you if you uh, look at this video and say, I know who that is. And uh, if you call us and tell us, or if you email me, Tom at blowmeuptom.com, and it turns out that the name you give me results in an arrest and a conviction, I'm going to pay you a grand out of my own pocket for that. So uh, do you think we can get a million hits on this today? I'll bet we can, and not just from you watching it. But if you have a website, post a link to it. We want to get as many people looking at this video as possible. And look, if the cat in the washing machine can get a million hits, if the guinea pig eating broccoli can get a million hits, this can get a million hits. Some chick urinating on my front door. We've never posted a video on YouTube. We've never done this before, but we're doing it now. So whether you go to the radio station website, 971freefm.com, whether you go to blowmeuptom.com, whether you go to YouTube, you will find this video. Uh, certainly right now, if you're in your office, maybe you're at home, maybe you've got your laptop, maybe uh, you've got a cell phone that gets YouTube, because now there actually are mobile versions of YouTube. Uh, look up the video, watch it, give me a reaction, and who knows, maybe there's somebody listening who knows who this chick is, but uh, as you can see, I told you, the uh, pressure is on. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to find every way I can to smoke this chick out and bring her to justice. And this video will be seen. I'm telling you, we're going to make sure it's seen by a million people. I want you to forward it to everybody you know. I want you to post it on your website. Email it to anybody you know. Get it out there. Email it to other radio station websites, for God's sake. Just spread it around. I mean, my God, this is a crime, and we want to bring this bitch to justice. What do you think about that? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You can have an opinion. I just don't want to know what it is. Why is that? Because I just want you to put your left leg at the 12 and your right leg at the 3. Oh, 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 that is so irritating to hear you say that. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. All right, who's seen the video? I know you all want to see it, and when you get home, you all will see it. But who has seen the video of the chick peeing on my front door? Jamar on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah, what's going on, Tom? Not much, Jamar. Well, that's I just saw the video on YouTube, and I got to say, that's a scandalous bitch. Can you believe it? No, I can't. And you can actually see her face a little bit. Like, if I knew her, I think I'd be able to tell you who she was. Well, that's you know what I'm mean? trying to say. Somebody out there knows who this is, and I guarantee you, she bragged to someone that she did this. Definitely. So we're just going to have to find out if her friendship with that person is worth more than $1,000. Well, you know that they're going to sell her up the river for that money. I mean, she's a scandalous bitch. She kicks it with scandalous bitches. They're rolling packs. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's all I got to say. Uh, you're doing the Lord's work. And, yes, I um, am. Keep it up. Why, thank you, Jamar. I appreciate can the you, call. Can you take me out with a bong toke? I certainly can. No cost. By the way, you can send this as a video holiday card on YouTube. <laughs> and uh, what better way to show the people who you love a good time this holiday season? Send a video of the woman who peed on my front door. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Gus on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, Gus. Dad, I am very upset, man. You know what? I am so happy you posted that video up because now I finally get to see what you were talking about. And let me tell you, whoever, uh, Scott, I believe, uh, who helped you, 
did an amazing job. Well, well, well it was Scott and it was so Gary. Weird. I mean, of course, our producer, Gary. I mean, Gary was the one who, who edited the video and added the music. <laughs> yes, music, if you haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, man. It's, it's, I saw it like, uh, like 30 minutes before your show came on. I went on the website and I, and I came like, what? The video's up. And I checked it out and I, I, I'm like, you know what? If I was in Tom, Tom, Tom's shoes, you know what? I would have done the same. You know what? I put, post the video, prosecuted to the fullest. And you know what? Now that the video's up, someone, especially here in LA, is going to recognize that car, man, because it looks like a Toyota Camry with that bodywork. Let me tell you. Someone's going to spot that car, and she's going to get caught. So I, <laughs> I don't know what this bitch was thinking, but she's going to get caught, man. And I'm happy you posted that video. I, I, did you enjoy it? Oh, I loved it. And you know what? And it's, and it's oh man, it's disgusting. I mean, you can actually see the river flowing right in the grout of your of your tile. That's right. Like, oh, dude, I was just disgusted at the same time. I was just laughing my ass off, man. It was, oh, man. I, oh, man, I can't even. <laughs> oh, man. But, Tom, you know what? I, 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 I love you, man. You do a great job for, uh, for everybody. And let me tell you, man, she's going to get caught, and I can't wait to the well, day. Well, wait until this becomes the number one video on YouTube. Oh, it's going to be. It's gonna and then the whole, the whole planet Earth is going to be watching it? Let me, let me tell you, this is going to be probably one of the best set, uh, email videos to cell phones for this holiday season. Let me tell you that. Absolutely. Oh, yes. All right, Tom, I got to say I love you. I live here in San Fernando, man. A lot of listeners out here. And um, just asking you if you could take me out with uh, Kobe Stone and then blow me up, baby. I certainly can, Gus. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Yeah, the air I breathe. She's so special to me. I'm sorry we lost the call of the uh, listeners out there on I-10. They were watching the video on their iPhones. This is fantastic. Oh, my. And uh, you have you seen? Art, have you checked in on the comments lately? Look how many comments there are now. Everybody's posting a comment now. This is great. Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. I've got a question for you. Yes. Why can't, like on the CSI shows, can't you guys just get a portion of the video and enlarge the car where the license plate is? Well, CSI uh, is a television show, and not only is it a television show, but it's a television show about crime scene investigators. Uh, there are detectives on this case. Uh, they are the ones who would presumably have the equipment to do that right. kind of thing. We... We're just guys with a computer. <laughs> well, you seem to be doing pretty good, though. We did okay. I, we did this all by ourselves, you know, us, and with a little help from Scott upstairs, uh, we, we've done okay. Yeah, but I, I, hopefully you'll be able to enlarge the car and, and the license plate out of the picture. The hard thing, of course, it, uh, we need uh, the, the video to be cleaned up a little bit. Yeah. And uh, so that, by the way, I'm, I'm sure there's somebody listening who knows how to do that, and you are more than welcome to give it your best shot. Oh, that's a great idea. Anybody who uh, can uh, get a better look at that car, a better look at the face, that wants to send us a vidcap or a JPEG, go for it. All right, Tom. Why, thank you, Mike. Thanks. Appreciate the call. Unbelievable. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Michael on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm okay, Michael. Hey, I was listening to this uh, the whole thing yesterday and today, and then I'm just driving right now, and you are saying that it was up on YouTube, so punch it up on my uh, iPhone to see it because I'm driving. Oh, it's classic, man. Do you, you like believe the, it? You know it? You should have put a camera on your doormat. That would have been a nice upskirt shot. <laughs> I, I, uh, I had no idea people would be scr you know, scrunching down to uh, to pee on my front door. I, I would have had a lipstick <laughs> camera like they have on those poker shows. That's classic, man. I hope you get this chick. It looks like, I bet you it's a chick that's pissed off that you gave her boyfriend or somebody some advice and he used it. I think it's somebody who knows somebody that I pumped and dumped. That that would be my guess. Uh, I I also wonder. I did a little number on my newspaper delivery guy last week. Right. He knows where I live. Uh, he could have been his girlfriend. Or who his knows? Sister. I don't know. That's not going to be a hard car to find, though, in L.A. <laughs> I well, <laughs> anybody sees that car, please let us know. Hey, take me out the bong rip and a shotgun to the head, Raz. Michael, here you go. 
1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Wilson is listening to us on our online stream from Ocean City, Maryland, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Wilson. Right on. Yeah, Tom, I just was checking this video out, and I'm actually checking it out like six or seven times here, and I'll tell you what. Somebody like her needs to be on slapped around like that. I think, you know, if it was me, if I found her, I would excuse the language, but... Goodness gracious, I, I, that's disgusting. I mean, what would make her in her right mind that would, would do something to a a god like you, you know? I mean, it, oh, man, it's just, oh, I just don't know, Tom. I just could I looked at it, and it just makes me so sick. Well, uh, as you can see, that car is real easy to spot. Somebody is going to see it and recognize it and is going to let us know. I have a direct line to the detectives at the Hollywood LAPD station. And I'm telling you, somebody out there on the road, that car is out there on the freeways today. Exactly, Tom. And I mean, it, I mean it's quite obvious. I mean, if you're going to do something like that, and you're going to go urinate on someone's property or mm -hmm. be to somebody. Oh, yes. You go driving something that's not quite obvious. I mean, come on. Oh, oh yes. Please. I mean, if I see that car down in this area, oh, uh, we'll make sure that uh, she gets uh, taken care of and extradited towards you guys out west. No That's doubt. <laughs> you probably <laughs> would, but there you go. That's you. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Alyssa on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? Great. I couldn't. I was listening to you on the radio, and I couldn't drive home fast enough just so I could go online and check out the video. And I told your screener, that woman is a pig. <laughs> she, no, she is a pig. A pig. You, were, you weren't even, I, I mean, everything you said, I thought, no, nah, it can't be that bad. Oh, she used your newspaper to wipe herself. <laughs> I mean, and then you can see the urine coming down the grout. Oh, my God. You, Perfect profile of her face. Oh, yes. Someone out there is going to know who she is. That's right. And I'm going to tell you, if I knew who she was, I wouldn't even take the $1,000. <laughs> I wouldn't even. And the paint job she has on her car, very distinct. Yeah, the Bondo Corporation ought to be very proud of their work. Well, I'll tell you, it's a very distinct paint job. Someone's going to recognize that car. And she deserves to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Anybody sees that car on the highway, try to get the license plate number, email it to us, Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Oh, I'm you, I, I would do it for free. And will you please take me out Kobe style? I certainly will. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, there I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's continue here with uh, Marielle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, how are you? Great. Um, I was just going to say, I'm, I'm not working. My diary's running low, so it might end. But um, I just wanted to say, I, I don't justify what she did. I don't believe it's right. If she was pissed off at you, I think she should write a letter or, you know, call, that was not good. But then, you know, what do you expect? It was about, you know, it was just a matter of time when some girl would do something to you, either physically or, you know, in some way. Well, again, and you may think that, but keep in mind uh, that uh, there is the United States Constitution, there is the First Amendment. Oh, yeah, definitely. I have the right to say what I like, and if somebody breaks the law, I have the right to prosecute them to the fullest extent of the law, and I will. Oh, no, most definitely. I, you know, I, I believe so. And I, I've heard your show a couple of times. Not really. I don't follow it to the fullest. But, um, you know, I, I, I get upset, too. But I, I would never do such thing. You know, you just have to have some conscience and, you know, some manners and stuff like that. But, you know, I, there's some pretty Nazi girls out there. And it was just a matter of time when something would have happened. But, yeah, definitely she has to go under the... You know, I just wanted to say that. Well, thank you for that. We have a listener in the Seattle area who just wrote in and said, 
She stole the poinsettias after they sat in her own pee, those poor plants. one 800 tom is our telephone number. Brian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Brian. How you doing? Doing great. Father, I cannot believe someone would want to do this to you. I mean, I know you I know you piss off a lot of women, but I, I just can't see how someone would want to do this to you. I hope I hope you get that woman. Well, uh, I think by showing the video and by having everybody who's listening share the video with everybody they know, post it everywhere they can, post it on blogs, post it on other people's websites, post it on other radio station websites, TV stations, newspaper websites. I think eventually this will be the number one video in America. I, I don't doubt it. And everybody's got, just like they figured out where the cat was in the washing machine. Remember that video that was so popular on YouTube? They figured out what city it was. <laughs> they yeah. w- We will figure out who owns that car with the Bondo on it. We will figure out who this chick is because you can see her face. Oh, yeah. It, it, it won't take long. Especially, I mean, it, even if she's got, if she's... Uh, got a been a state employee or something, or been a uh, uh, had been arrested or anything? They'll find her in no time. People are already posting the video on their MySpace pages. It's already oh, happening. Yeah. I, I just put it up on mine. I've, I'm heading. I'm getting it out to all the radio stations. I, I'm getting out to everyone here. I mean, it probably not going to do a lot of good in Seattle, but hey, you know, someone might know someone in L.A. Send it to them and. Well, that's the whole thing. I mean, you never know who has a relative in L.A. I mean, it, it could be anybody. Oh yeah. And if if not, it's going to make for some good talk. It's going to definitely make for a good show up here. So. That's the idea. See, if nothing else, I get a good show out of it. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it certainly is a video worth watching. Whether or not we ever actually catch her, mm-hmm. you got to see it. Oh yeah, I mean, you can you can even catch a little bit of glimpse of her too. Yes. Well, if you freeze the frame on the first the first pass when she's coming across the street to my front door. Mm-hmm. You get a real good look at her face. Yeah. Well, even right at the end there, there's a real good look at her face, too. Yes. So uh, believe me, there's somebody out there who knows who this is. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to talk to that person at some point. And, and you know and you know, someone out there has got to, uh, got to be strapping for cash who knows who it is. That's right. And they're going to sell them out. That is you believe know what? I would. I don't care if that was my own sister. I'd do it for a thousand bucks. Absolutely. Look, a thousand bucks is more than the plants were worth. A thousand bucks can buy me a car. <laughs> that's that's how much I want to stick it to the person who did this. Hell yeah! All right, Brian. Hey, Tom, can you take me out with a bong rip and I uh, Kobe style? Certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Jessica on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Well, I first, of course, heard the story yesterday, and I'm driving only to hear that it was a chick that picked the front doorstep. I am astounded. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it either. I know, man. Um, but I was wondering what the car looked like, because I can't look it up on an iPhone, so I don't have one. But I'm not home yet to watch the video, but I'm on the highway looking at every car as a suspect and want a little description. Wow. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, with that body work in the car, it's it's going to be hard to miss. What color was it? Uh, it's blue, but the but you see the back door on the driver's side? Is like a different color, like like it's like you had to go find a spare part oh, at the junkyard. Yeah, yeah, so it's all bond like that bondo color, you know, like kind of okay. gray, unpainted color of a of By a door a panel. Gun metal. Yeah, if you see it, that's what it's a blue car, and also the rear left panel, the driver's side panel uh, uh-huh. the, that abuts the uh, trunk hood. Same deal. It's, uh, it's a panel that's been replaced. Get so you can see it. Wow. I mean, believe me, once you see this car, you won't forget it. Really? Yes. You know what kind of make? I heard something of a Camry, maybe? Well, uh, to me, it looked like a Ford. Other people are saying a Toyota. Really, you have to take a look for yourself, maybe pause it a couple of times. You'll get a good look. All right. Well, I'm on it, Tom. All right, Jessica. You take me out with a B-Rip and an explosion? You know I will, dear. One eight hundred five 
five eight hundred. Tom. My mom grew up, uh, she went to a Catholic high school, and there was a picture in the yearbook of the girls who were going to go off and become nuns. And I tell you, by modern standards, you would look at that picture and go, dyke, 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 dyke. The Tom Likas Show. having fun? Yes, we are. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. And um, in case you're just tuning in, uh, we now have video of the chick who urinated on my front door. It is posted on YouTube. You can see it. You can go to my website, blowmeuptom.com. You can go to the radio station website here in L.A., which is 971freefm.com. You can go to YouTube directly. You can see it. And the comments are piling up. The ratings are piling up. It's already uh, been favorited by uh, 19 different people. This is hot. See the Jake urinate on my front door. See her steal my poinsettia plants. Somebody knows who this is. Somebody has already posted uh, uh, on the, under the comments that they know who this is. But they don't want to get involved. We're going to find out who it is. Deborah on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. Tom, I am pissed. Because, number one, I don't care what you said. It did not warrant this. And I hope that they even look into, number one, she's depositing body fluids there. I hope the guy, she got an infection. And you can get her for that. Okay? Contamination. Yeah. This is, this is sick. This woman is sick. She is sick. Of course, yeah, this, if she, of course, if she's infected, then I might die, and then it might be a moot point. Well, yeah, but they need they need to go after her. Ain't enough sorries and, and crying in the world, and that's what's going to happen when she get in there. She's going to go to crying, and I hope they don't uh, take no mercy on that because, number one, she had time to think to do this. Oh, yes. No, oops, I made a... You know what? I, I never get this pissed about you, okay? <laughs> it's like I've been with you through the years. I've never called you and never thought I would call you. But, like I said, I don't care what you said over that radio. I, I, I really don't care about that. It did not warrant this. I mean, she could have came and talked to you or whatever. That's that's what a woman would do. Send me a nasty letter. Uh, yeah. Uh, call me up and tell me what a creep I am. That's okay. Yeah, but don't piss on the porch. Right. This is ridiculous. Right. But anyway, I love you, Tom. And uh, you know what? Keep doing your business. Just be careful because if she goes this far, you know what? <laughs> this one might sneak in your house. Well, she might try to do that, but I've got cameras she will. I've got an alarm system. I've got uh, private patrols and security. She will be caught. I hope so. I hope to God she's caught. Okay, Tom, so you take care. Thank you, Deborah. All right. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Dave on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Going okay, Dave. All right. So this woman, a uh, couple things. You know, if she's doing this kind of stuff, then... I bet she's probably got some enemies that know her and would say, hey, look, there's Sally or whatever her name is. I'm going to think I'm going to help Tom out here. Somebody's going to see it and somebody's going to know. I mean, keep in mind, there's people right now listening to this show in their cars. In fact, I'd bet about 80 to 90 percent of the people listening are in their cars. Oh, yeah. And so m many of the people who are going to see this video haven't even seen it yet. And the way that, that uh, primer is on that car... Those aren't necessarily panels, but that's uh, primer that masked off some body work. And the way it's got a hard edge on it there isn't something you're, a normal body guy is going to do because when you put a hard edge on there, um, the way it's masked off, it makes it really difficult to paint. Right. So it, it should have just been fogged. So that kind of tells me that this 
that primer has been on there a while and or it's going to be on there a while, and this car isn't going to be repainted anytime soon. This is going to be a very hard car to miss. Oh, very hard. It's a very distinctive uh, accent on <laughs> yes. that paint job, so it sticks out like a sore thumb. Oh, yes. And somewhere on a freeway in Southern California, somewhere on a, somewhere on a local street, and yep. based on who I think this is, it's somebody in the 626. Oh, yeah. Somebody's driving around with this car right now. Yep. And if you like, I could uh, move that camera by your door or add another one that has it right at a face shot. Well, who knew that somebody would do that? Well, yeah, but I, I do. I install camera systems, and I try to usually put them at a face level. Right. But the thing is, my camera is at face level, but people don't put their face down by the by the doormat. <laughs> She could have, she put her, if she knew the camera was there, she could have put her face down and go, look up there and go, hi, Tom, look what I just did. I mean, if you see after she, you see her bare ass and she pulls up the skirt, her face is right in the camera shot. Yeah, yeah, crazy. All right, man, take me up to Halle Battery. Here you go, Dave. <laughs> It's 1-800-5800-TOM. We're talking about the video. It's been posted. The video of the chick who peed on my front door and stole my poinsettias. It's all there for you to see on our website, blowmeuptom.com. You can also see it directly on YouTube. It's there. Go look at it. Jeannie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you? I'm doing okay, Jeannie. You know, Tom, I listen to your show periodically, and I always hear women call in and just make other women just look so stupid, like this lady. You know, and I hope that you catch her. I'll be on the lookout for that car. Good. That she gives us a bad name. Well, she proves what I say about women, doesn't she? Yes, she does, and that pisses me off. So I do support you in trying to find her, and apparently she's trying to be a lawyer or something. Is that what you said? If it's who I think it is, yes. Okay. Well, I hope that you catch her and, uh, you know, give her a bad name, definitely. I'll be on the lookout. Thank you, Jamie. Thanks a lot, Tom. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Eric on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Doing okay. Good. Listen, I think that you're definitely going to catch her in a day or two because of all this word going out and her face and the car and all that. However, nothing against you. I like you. But I think that she did nail you. You know what I'm saying? Even if you catch her and she goes to jail for three years... She definitely nailed you. I mean, I would just admit that. Well, the I'm point not... is, it was, she nailed me at what? I mean, you take a hose, you hose down the porch, you move on. Well, I guess so, yeah. And I'm not saying she should nail you, and I'm not saying she's right. But, I mean, for me, I'd go... Who do you think, yeah. when this is all over, who do you think is going to get the most satisfaction out of this? Well, don't you feel like you got nailed? For instance, I mean, did you go open the door and accidentally grab into some of her uh, uh, pea soup or something uh, like that? No. No, but that's because I just was walking out the door. Um, at best, it hit the bottom of the soles of my shoe. Okay. As okay. I was leaving. All right. Well, that's I don't it. Wonder if two have nailed you, but I just look at it both sides. Where, well, even if you get her, she sure did. You know. Because uh, keep in mind, I did not. Uh, I did not know this had happened until hours after it happened. This this video takes place at seven thirty a.m. on a okay. Saturday. Did you walk out? You saw the plants were gone. That's what I saw. I I okay. saw the plants missing. I didn't see I didn't see urine. I saw plants missing. Oh, so it was honestly not to be sick. It may have been dry by that point. Could have been. Okay. Well, um, you know, it's inappropriate. I think that you, you teach guys how to. It's do beyond something. inappropriate. It's a crime. Yeah. I think what it is is that you teach men how to get what they want from women. I don't teach them how to break the law. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that women, some women go insane. Oh, I know they teach, do. You know, you teach the secret of, hey, we're going to well, get... Well, this, this, this bitch is going to go insane when she sees the inside of a holding pen. Yeah, and she will be caught, Tom. There's no doubt about it. Just so you know, I think you have a slight doubt. There's zero doubt she's going to be caught. And, <laughs> and, 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 and by the way, I'm offered a thousand bucks of my own cash uh, to anybody who tells me who she is. I will keep their name confidential and anonymous. I will uh, not uh, to tell anybody that they were involved. I will simply turn the information about the person who did this uh, over to the detective at LAPD as an anonymous right. tip, and then uh, that's how we're going to proceed. I think you're not even going to have to spend that, because with your number of listeners, with her face you see on the video and the car, 
uh, it's she's got no hope. I think so. Good luck to you. I mean, you know, you you, can, you got her, so I give you that. You know. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for your time, Tom. Eric, I appreciate the call. Here comes Jerry on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Jerry. If you have an idea of who it is, why don't you go snoop around to see if it is who you think it is? Well, first of all, um, they're, that's what detectives are for, and that's what they do. And there happens to be an LAPD detective on this case who is going to the appropriate places, asking the appropriate questions. And uh, it's not my job to do that. I, I leave it to the professionals who do that. No, of course. but uh, Because you never know when you walk up to someone's residence and you're pointed uh, at the end of a gun or something going on. I'm leaving it to the police. Well, that's true. That's true. Well, can you take me out of uh, Kobe style? Of course. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Dave on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. What's happening? Not much, Dave. Hope you're having a great day. Hey, I've got a story very close to this, and you will catch this girl. It was easy for me. I had a very same situation happen about a year ago. Girl did the same thing. She peed on my, on, on my doorstep. I happened to live in a neighborhood that they got her on film, and I had... a surveillance camera that caught her butt they got her car which got a license plate my guess is you probably live in a neighborhood similar check your folks they'll get her car what i found out later when it came down she she had the hots for me and this was her way of showing it so think about that do what you're going to do with it I'll see that maybe i can uh, get something else you never know man she might, have, you know, she might have two hot girlfriends for you. No, no, no. You know what? They'll, she'll have a carving knife with her. Hey, it's all good. But anyway, just, you know, they will catch her. Try to get a license plate or a car if you can. That was the way I got this one because you can't recognize a butt. Well, you might be able to, but I can't. <laughs> Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Kevin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. How are you, Tom? Um, I just I was curious. I wanted to know what exactly will the charges be when, um, if and when this chick is caught. I know stealing the plants is theft, but what about the uh, the other thing? Is it like public urination or what? Well, keep in mind that's that's the, for the city attorney to decide. Uh, okay. the, of the city of Los Angeles, and uh, this case will be taken to the city attorney. Um, grand theft will be the charge uh, for taking the plants. Those are large potted poinsettias that were, uh, these were not uh, dime store variety that you buy at Trader Joe's. These were placed by my uh, landscaper um, and had to be replaced. Uh, also, there was damage done to the plants that were left there. Uh, and on top of that, of course, the uh, newspaper was destroyed, the cleaning of my uh, porch and all of that. Uh, going up and up. It's going up and up. Uh, so so it's grand theft, according to the detective I spoke to. Oh, and cool. and, and uh, the other one about urinating my front porch, I don't know what that charge will be, but uh, we all know there's a million ways that's illegal. It's vandalism. It's public urination. And I'm not a, an attorney or a city attorney, but uh, God only knows. Right. I was I was just curious as to uh, how many we could uh, we could pile on there. So hopefully hopefully it's the max. That's what I'm hoping for. Well, Kevin, we would certainly love to see that. All right, go see our video. Go to blowmeuptom.com right now. It's there. Go to 971freefm.com. Go to youtube.com. See the chick urinating on my front door. See the poinsettias being stolen. Write me at tom at blowmeuptom.com to qualify for a thousand dollar award. The Tom Likas Show.